too. And four things that I love about my E6 M5, excluding the V10, just because I think that's very obvious. Most people like this car specifically for the V10, the way it sounds, etc. So that's very rhetorical. There's just no need to go into that. Oh, I guess the deer don't like it. And he just doesn't care. Anyways, number one is the SMG transmission at full throttle in the highest shift setting. I know many people hate this transmission around town. I get that, I understand. But at full throttle, it's a completely different experience. As you can see, during the shift, you probably saw this thing like slam forward. Uh, that's what makes the car so fun to drive. The shifts are violent, they're brutal, they're intense. No other transmission can give you that experience. Dual clutches and automatics, they just shift so fast that there's no room for drama. It's just a very fast shift. And manuals, while I'll agree, are more engaging and more fun to some people. I had a manual, it was fun for sure, but again, there's no drama behind that. This, the drama, is what makes the car fun to drive. Keep in mind that this SMG was specifically designed to be with this engine, so they pair very well. They're, they go very good together and I look forward to putting this car in M mode specifically for the extra shift setting and not necessarily for the extra 100 horsepower. That's just how much I love the savage shifts of this car. And here's a fun fact. To this day, the Lamborghini Aventador is still sold with a single clutch transmission. And we all know how insane that car is. And it gets the same complaints as the SMG. Uh, but there's no doubt about it that it gives a just one of a kind experience. Number two, so this car is a 2008, and 10 years later, to this day, I'm still pretty satisfied with all the features that this car has. I've never found myself saying, wow, it's probably time I should get a new car, a car with this, or a car with that. No, I'm very happy with uh, what this car is equipped with to this day. So the Logic sound system, What's the day without a little night? very high quality, love the sound, the heads up display, the heated and ventilated seats, the active seats, the heated rear seats, the iDrive, which I'm a huge fan of. All your vehicle information is right there. Everything's easy to use. The leather wrap dash, uh, this has got the extended leather package, so leather's all around the car. A very rich feel. The Alcantara headliner, which is really nice. A nice touch for sure, very luxurious. So for example, before I bought this car, I was looking at the M3 and the C63 of the same year, and those didn't even have the option for ventilated seats or heads-up display and stuff like that. So. I know these newer cars with lane departure warning and blind spot monitoring and like the 360 degree camera, yeah that would be nice, I'm not going to lie, but I don't really need that just because I'm not a distracted driver. Uh, I'm going to check my blind spots regardless if I have a little light telling me I can go or not. So of course feature wise it's nothing like today's cars, but 10 years later I'd say I'm still very satisfied with what this car came equipped with and I'm not complaining. So number three, if you're a big interior guy like me, which uh, I'm a big fan of nice interiors just because when you're behind the wheel, you spend 100% of the time on the inside of the car. Uh, you might appreciate the fact that BMW offered five different leather color choices. So I've got the Silverstone interior, which I absolutely love. Uh, you've also got black, obviously. There's Portland Brown, Light Sepang Bronze, and Indianapolis Red, which is just gorgeous. So this is kind of a big deal to me just because I'm not the biggest fan of black leather interiors. So Mercedes, for example, the C63. When I was looking for those, like every single one had black leather interiors, which is fine if that's what you like and that's what you're looking for. Uh, maybe like one in every 15 had the cream interior. But all black to me is just a little dull. There's just not much flavor to it. I'm just a big fan of the contrast, like the whole two-tone look. Uh, it just flows very well and it's just a very smooth look. So props to BMW for giving us five different color options, uh, just for those who like having different varieties to choose from. And lastly, this is my opinion, I know many of you won't agree with me, uh, but I think this car has just aged very, very well. Still a very good looking car to this day, and there's a lot of minor details that I really like about it. For example, the LCI taillights with these lines that run through it are just so BMW, very distinctive. Uh, I don't know any other manufacturer that has done this with the of course the white crystal looking LEDs here is the blinker uh, with the LEDs on the side here speaking of blinkers I bet you've never seen a BMW with one on so here you go just a very gorgeous design for a taillight again I think BMW really went the extra mile with the design of this car 
So if you look at other cars from the same year, same era, uh, the taillights aren't really anything special. Not saying these are like the greatest things on earth, uh, but if you look at like the E63, for example, from the same year, um, I hate that it sounds like I'm picking on the on Mercedes because I'm not. I really do love AMG cars, but their taillights are just kind of bland. It's just there's nothing distinctive about it. Same thing with the headlights on E63. They're just four ovals, two ovals on each side with a projector in them. Uh, that was their design at the time, so no big deal, but again, I just don't think it's aged as well. It's very simple looking, a little bit boring, and definitely not as aggressive looking. Especially with this eyebrow here that comes down along the headlight. Uh, it just makes it look so angry, and then you've got the, of course, the, the little LEDs here on the side, and the halos, which are obviously very distinctive to BMW. And of course, you've probably never seen a BMW blinker from the front, so allow me to show you that. Yes, look at that. I actually love the way these headlights look. Uh, my favorite is when the projector is on. Uh, very, very nice looking. That's why a lot of the pictures I post on Instagram, my headlights are on because I think it just looks a lot better with the projectors on. Um, it does look a little dated. I'll admit the, the middle two lamps, those aren't projectors. Had they made them projectors, God, it would have looked a lot better. Uh, that's the only part that's really aging. But overall, I'm very satisfied with how this car is aged and just the looks, the styling department. Uh, Chris Bangle did an excellent job with the design of this car. As always, thank you very much for watching. You can expect a video on the things I don't like about the E60 M5 very soon. Uh, until then, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Take care.